230 or 237 physicians who signed the statement that they want to back uh, 200 and 300. If anyone has any more questions from Karen? I'd like now to introduce um, Dr. Chris Nevin Wood, who some of you already know. She was our medical director of the health department uh, for years. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Nevin Woods, and I'm a public health physician. I'm also a wife, a mother, and a grandmother. And I'm reaching out to the voters and talking about some public health issues and my experience in Pueblo over many years. Um, I've seen Pueblo do the right thing to improve health, well-being, and public health. And it's time to do it again. It's critical, particularly for the welfare of our youth. We need to do it for them. Um, for example, over, just over about 10 years ago, we implemented one of the strictest tobacco ordinances in the country, in Pueblo, Colorado, which decreased the exposure to secondhand smoke. And that ordinance um, affected public places, restaurants, business, and bars, which was controversial. And it was really hard. People were angry for a long time. Um, but a huge public health success in Pueblo and demonstrated by studies done showing that there was a 41% <coughs> decrease in heart attacks in both hospitals over the three years after the ordinance and none in two control groups that we did. This, uh, these studies were published in nationwide journals and discussed in the Institute of Medicine's report. And again, it was hard. There was a lot of opposition. But it, it led to the current state law in Colorado, and our community's health was improved greatly. And we were proud of that. So we know it can be done. And people years later came up to me and said, you know, I really gave you a hard time. I didn't want this. But it was the right thing to do for public health. So now we have another large challenge to the health of Pueblo especially for our youth. I want to talk about youth because they've always been a high priority for me and for us in public health in, Co in Pueblo. Um, we have always focused on our youth and I, somehow, some way, we're not doing that now. We've had huge successes, um, but now we have huge issues. And, we, and it's so disappointing to me because my whole career in public health in Pueblo has been looking at at-risk youth, intergenerational poverty, school dropout. And we know that if they can't get through school, can't get a diploma, they're not going to get a decent job. Teen pregnancy, homeless families, and making gangs, and being able to make healthy decisions as young adults. This community can do better and protect our kids is having a lot of marijuana and retail establishments worth it? Is it really worth Well, marijuana is illegal for teens, but they have easy access, no doubt about it, right? Don't fool yourself. And research is showing the detrimental effects to youth and even <coughs> young adults. The brain we now know is very vulnerable in these youth to effects, including intellectual ability to think on your feet, Problem solving, focus, concentrating, and memory ability. It's all affected. And we're learning that as studies are coming out. So I'll tell you experience I had in the spring semester I was teaching at um, CSU Pueblo. And I drove up to park. It was in the morning. And, and next to me was 18 or 19-year-old male student. And I was getting my things together to get a car. And I look over. He pulls out a joint and clearly was smoking a joint of marijuana. Then he got out of the car to go to class. And I'm thinking, is he going to learn anything that day? No. So as I told my children growing up, do the right thing. And I'm asking the voters 
You know, Pueblo's known now, laughingly almost, as the hotbed of marijuana, and we can change that. And thank you for the physicians and all of you here um, working on this issue. Thank you. Come out wrong Won't you help us please Help us just to sing along A new redemption song A new redemption song Lord we need A new redemption day to come out wrong Won't you help us please Help us just to sing along A new redemption song A new redemption song